Hello everyone, the biggest arsehole in the Assassin's Creed community here, and today we aren't doing an Assassin's Creed video, so fucking surprisingly, but we are doing a video on Watch Dogs 2. Now, as you all know, some, obviously the game's been released, I mean, not fucking released, what the fuck am I on? But the game has been officially confirmed for November the 15th, 2016. Now, that is very, very close. But the big question is, especially with all Ubisoft games, as in, you know, They've released The Division, you know, Watch Dogs 1, you know, Rainbow Six Siege, Far Cry 4. Will it be any good? Because we all know Ubisoft is kind of a scumbag company as much as I love them for Assassin's Creed. In the past, they have done some shit that has made a lot of people very unhappy. Now, don't get me wrong, Far Cry 4 is a good game. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I love it. You know, at the time, Watch Dogs 1 was quite good. The Division was just kind of a big letdown for me. But they they have a history of downgrading titles, graphics, which some people probably think, the graphics don't matter. But to be fair, it really annoys me when a company promises this beautiful-looking game world, bright, vibrant game world, and then they downgrade it. And sometimes Ubisoft don't even mention the fact that they've downgraded it. Ubisoft have also in the past lied about gameplay features and said, oh, this happens a lot. Like in Assassin's Creed 2, they'd say, oh, you can hug random people in the street. I mean, I know it's not a very great thing, but they lied about a feature that was in the game. The only times you could actually hug people was when it was a scripted event in the game. They, they, they have just, they, they have lied about things. Even in the Division demo, you couldn't, there's, there's literally a place in the demo that you cannot walk through. You can go to it, but you can't walk through it. Now, I have no idea why they would have got rid of that. But they did. So, Ubisoft have done some things in the past that have that has fucked people up completely. And you know, I'm very skeptical about the whole Watch Dogs 2 thing. Even though it does look good from the trailers, Ubisoft are an incredible marketing team. But then they don't follow up most of the time with an amazing game. Now you're probably saying you're being so harsh on Ubisoft here that they they try, they try very hard. They they do try, bless them. But what I've seen from Watch Dogs 2, it looks to be, as I said previously, what the jump from Assassin's Creed 1 to 2 was. Now, Assassin's Creed 1 was a very, like, gritty, dark game, and it was very serious, had a very serious nar narrative, and we're just kind of setting up the story. Assassin's Creed 2 came along and built on that, as in it made charismatic main characters, you know, actual really important plot points, really good main character with the introduction of Ezio, and it also fleshed out the Assassin's Creed story as a whole. So I think that this is what Watch Dogs 2 will do for Watch Dogs. The main character seems like a much more likeable character than Aiden Pierce, and you know, it, it just all looks a lot better. San Francisco looks like a better place in my opinion, um, Chicago, it just didn't, it wasn't awfully great to me, it seemed quite boring and kind of bland and very generic, like every street looked the same and it just, it wasn't a very fun world to play in. So I think with Watch Dogs 2 they're going to improve on absolutely everything, as, in, as you can see already they've improved on the hacking, there's more hacking features. Now I don't know how extensive this will be, but I really, really, really do hope that they will build on it a lot more than... You know, a lot more than Watch Dogs 1 had, because Watch Dogs 1, you could hack like a pipe, uh, some poles and some cars and some traffic lights and cameras, and it, there wasn't an awful lot you could do with the um, with the hacking in, in Watch Dogs 1. But in Watch Dogs 2, you can hack cars and you can manly, manually drive them around. You can do the same thing as you could in Watch Dogs 1. You can hack, you've got a little drone that you can hack around and stuff, and it just seems a lot more extensive. As, like, isn't just the things you can hack in general. Also, they've brought in this new kind of comical feel to the game. As in, the first game was incredibly serious because Aiden Pierce's niece died and he was all sad about it and it was about a revenge story again. But you play as a character from DeadSec in this game, and DeadSec seems to be more of a chilled, laid-back hacking organization. As in, Watch Dogs 1, they were kind of working with Aiden Pierce, but otherwise they would have been his enemy. So... They're not trying to get revenge on anyone. They're not trying to avenge their dead niece. They're just fucking around. Which is why I think Marcus will be a much better character than Aiden Pierce, and why it'll be a much more comical game in general. I feel like he'll he'll want to toy with his enemies a bit before he kills them, and it'll just feel just, just a lot better, and he'll feel like a better character, and you'll you'll come to love Marcus. I I I have higher hopes that he'll be a great character. They've also brought in this new parkour feature. Now, this looks really cool. 
because obviously the parkour in Watch Dogs 1 was just you could climb up the available platforms that you saw around the place. But in this, you can like climb on building. Well, you can't climb up the buildings, but you can more like do kind of mirror's edge free running. As in you can like jump jump across buildings and stuff as we saw in the cinematic trailer. And you can do the cool thing where he like flips over a wall, which looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that works and how much it's in the game and how much you'll need to use it. Because I know in Watch Dogs, like the original Watch Dogs, there wasn't much like climbing at all. So I hope there'll be more kind of gameplay that, like, that, like that in Watch Dogs 2. They're bringing a lot of new stuff into Watch Dogs 2, like this new pre a 3D printer mode where you can print your own weapons and stuff, which I seem, which seems to be pretty cool, you know. Because um, in Watch Dogs 1, there wasn't an awful lot of weapon customization, and I'd like to see more of that because it is kind of a fun, fun thing to go for when you know you got these guns and you upgrade them and they become better through the game, and you know it, it's just it's, it's a good feature to have in a game. So the fact they have this 3D printer is quite a cool feature, and it makes me happy. To see that there's, they're actually extending on the weapons in the game as well as everything else. So overall, I think the Watch Dogs 2 is is going to be quite a good game. Like it could blow my mind, it could be absolute shit, but from what I've seen so far, I think Watch Dogs 2 will be a good game. But you know, we won't be able to judge that until we actually get the game. So yeah, I, <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about in this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Watch Dogs and, and Assassin's Creed information, for I am the biggest asshole in the Assassin's Creed community. That is my name, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next Watch Dogs or Assassin's Creed video. Bye! Remember to subscribe and comment what you think of Watch Dogs 2 in the comment section below. I forgot to say that. Comment what you think of Watch Dogs 2, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!